This is our Y-axis accordion cover. Uh, this is on our next-gen mill. So what this is is actually two of our covers that are spliced together right here in the middle. On our regular covers, because of the length, they open and close without any problem. What happens with our, our these covers is as you close them, sometimes they spring up like this, which is not good. In order to make a better cover, we've come up with a new design, and it's a one piece for starts. And then we've added holes in the sides of them. So this accordion cover is all one piece and it is very prone to lifting up like that when you close it. Generally, if you open and close it several times on your machine, it'll start to open and close consistently without bubbling up like this. Our solution to the problem is that we have two holes right here and two holes right here. One is for a rod to go all the way through and the other one is for a screw and washer to hold the end of the rod in place. So I'm going to put this on the machine and show you how it's installed. Uh, if you want to use this one, you can't have a cover on this side over here because the rods have to go all the way through when this table moves. So if you decide to go with the rods through the bottom, then you have to take off the Y-axis cover that's on this side here. If you decide you don't want to use the rods, then you can use both covers. You have to have a cover on this side because that's all. this is the only thing that protects the ball screw. On this side, we have the brass cover tube, and there's absolutely no way that any chips are going to get onto the ball screw on this side of the, the mill saddle. So removing that cover is, is not an issue at all you will get chips on top of your machine, but they brush off easily. I've installed a new one-piece Y-axis cover. No splicer piece in here. So if you hold it down and you open and close it several times, it will tend to stay in this position here. However, when it's brand new, you do get this nice roll-up effect right here. So. What we've done is we've drilled all the way through the, uh, the accordion cover, and then we have these two rods. And if you look at the holes on the back here, this top hole right here to the right is for your rod to go through. This hole down here next to it is for a self-threading screw and washer to go into because the end of the rod is bent, so when it's all the way through, it will be up against it like so, and the washer will hold it in place so the rod doesn't come out. So it's easiest to put this through with it in the closed position. And then you can just fish your rod through. So that's one rod in, and let me fish the next rod through. Once the rods are through, then what you're going to do is use your self-threading screw and washer to hold the bent end in place. And they go right in your second hole right here. this way so you can see it. So we have our screw and washer holding the end of the, the welding rod in place and that's how that goes. Now as you open and close it, it 
There's no way it's going to lift at all. It's held in place by the rods. And you have full travel. The reason you can't have your other cover on here is because obviously you need some place for this rod to go. If we had the rods going through the other way, which would work for both covers, but then what happens is you have rods coming out this direction and coming out this direction and as your table moves these rods are going further out past the stepper motor and back so we decided this is the best design right here again though you can only cover this is the critical cover you'll be able to cover this part of your ball screw and again the brass tube covers the other other side of your ball screw so so there you have it